Today we're going to review in Photoshop how to do a couple of extractions. The first thing we do is we're going to go to Window and Library. Here is my library. And in this case, I've already made a folder called Flowers or Plant Sale. Next, we're going to click the plus at the bottom. Okay, and make sure that you are on your image when you get ready to do that. And we're going to choose Extract from Image. We have a couple options. The first thing we're going to do is we are going to create a gradient. So I'm going to click to my gradient part right here. And this is where I can add my gradients. In this example, I probably want to have um, all three or four of the colors used in the flowers. Okay. So I'm going to want to change this to four gradient stops. And again, what I can do is I can just go and click on each of my gradients and put them over a different part of the image to get my gradient. From here, I can click and save this to my Creative Cloud library, which is here. And then I can right click or double click it and rename that as well. We're going to do the same thing again. We're going to go to our window libraries and at the bottom, we're going to click the plus sign. And we're going to do extract from image. This time what we want to do is we want to make a pattern. And here's what's really neat is we are able to go and adjust the triangle here to figure out the exact part of the pattern. Um, also, if you look up here, we have a couple different um, pattern designs you can choose from. Um, you can look at choosing the ones from the colors. Um, you can also do a scale um, to be larger or smaller. Um, so the great thing about this is if you go and add a pattern, and save it, you know that those colors will exactly match in your design because you made your pattern this way. So I can click Save to CC Libraries. And then I can go back to my library over here, right click and rename it. The final thing we're going to do is we're going to extract our color guides. So again, we're on our background layer. We're going to click our plus, extract from image. Um, and we're going to try the color themes. So again, you can decide um, how many stops you'd like, but this looks great. Um, then when I get ready to design my plant flyer, um, I can make sure that I use each of these different colors in the design to make sure that that color is spot on and it looks as great as a graphic as it can. 